Hello guys, Vic here, playing uh, Deathmark. Um, this is a new game that a friend got me for Christmas. I just finished uh, Hellblade, so I'm going to do this one. Um, before I get started, spoiler alert, if nobody wants, if you if you uh, don't want to get um, have the game ruined for you, now's your chance to um, discontinue watching the video, as I don't want to spoil a game for anybody that doesn't want it spoiled for them. Um, otherwise, let's get to it. I have not played this game. This is new. Um, I just actually I played a little bit of it yesterday, um, but I'm gonna do a new game here because I kind of screwed up yesterday when I was naming my character. Because there's a part in the beginning where you can actually name your character. So let's get started. Okay, so there's still images. Um, as you can see, um, looks like a bunch of reading you'll have to do. Hmm. Looks like a school. Oh, they're about to get into creepy stuff. I want to hear it. Hmm. Uh oh, somebody's gone missing. That's not good. Oh, she disappeared, huh? Oh crap. So I guess um she was studying and well something happened. <laughs> when all there is is just her hand or really her arm. <laughs> uh I didn't I, I do see that scar. Where'd the rest of her body go? <laughs> Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you guys. It's just one button that just I have to press in order to switch over to something else that they say. So somebody else has this scar, I guess? Oh, this guy shows up. Oh, 
just noticed something, guys. Apparently, I can set it for auto if I press R1. <laughs> See, it pays to actually read. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea, because, um, there are choices you have to make in this game. So I guess we're looking at a very uh, creepy looking mansion place. So if this is moving way faster than what I was doing, it's because I set it for auto, guys. So if you press R1, you can it'll just go through these um subtitles, I guess. <laughs> huh. Uh-oh, he's got the mark too. Oh, look, some lights turn on. In a creepy mansion. I think it's going to skip through the sections you got to make a choice from. So I'm guessing, like, depending on what you choose, may determine the outcome of this story. You'll see when, when it gets to a certain part. It's almost there, actually. That looks kind of creepy. It looks like a... Okay, so this is where I'm talking about. If certain choices, you can, uh, depending on how you, uh, what you choose, it may actually determine what goes on next. I could ignore them, I could talk to them, or I can approach them. You know, I've always been, uh, a curious person, so I'm gonna go for approach. I just found out that in order to have it do this uh, auto thing, after you make a choice, you gotta press R1 again, otherwise it'll stay uh, on what it says until you press... Alright, so I can back away or I can touch her. Hmm. Touchy-feely, touchy-feely. Yeah, so after you make a choice, just press R1 if you want it to just do the auto thing where it just goes through the story on its own. Otherwise, you'll be pressing X or whatever to 
keep moving along the story. Oh, she's a doll, huh? Well, Alright, guys, I guess it's even more creepier. <laughs> So I guess in a way this game is has an inter interesting story. Um, kind of goes away from you actually having to do much with your uh, controller. <laughs> but it does give you the choices. Alright, so I can approach it, I could ignore it, or I can wait. Hmm. I'm approaching it. That noise is so annoying. I need to turn it off. Really? Even I knew what that was. <laughs> Trying to think of a name for this character because I know that it, I got as far as naming the character before I um, stopped it. I figured I'd just play from the beginning for you guys to see this game from the beginning. <laughs> Well, I can tell it's a bedroom. <laughs> uh, if he's talking about wet floor, that's not good. I'm going to assume there's blood on the floor. Yep. Somebody died. <laughs> or was murdered. You know, I didn't really get a good look at it, and I, but it kind of looked like someone was dead with flowers on them. So I'm going to go for stare at it. Yep, that was right. <laughs> I always keep forgetting to press R1. Oh wow, it's a... It's a dead person, like I thought, and apparently there's flowers in their stomach. Now that is just weird. <laughs> He's gonna puke. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't, didn't even make, it didn't give him the sound of him throwing up. Oh, what the heck? The body's gone and all the lights are on. <laughs> uh, wow, this is, um. Yeah, I know this is. I don't even know if there's any save points in this game. It, it doesn't look like you can save it. Because it looks from the... If you look at the... um The left, the bottom left, options is the log, and R1 is for auto. 
I, I don't think it gives... I'm thinking the log is just for all these little subtitles we're looking at. Let me try something. No, it's not giving me the options here right now. It won't let me. It won't do anything when I press it. Maybe because it's on auto. Let me take it off of auto. There we go. Yeah, basically, um, it just, uh, if you missed anything, you can actually go back in the log and you can reread everything. That's basically it. Um, so I have no idea how this game, I, I think it auto saves. What the heck? The doll's alive? It's a cute looking doll. It's got the innocent look to her. Although, it's a little creepy. I'd say cute and creepy at the same time. <laughs> so, I mean... I don't know if it'll give you more options as you get uh, further in the game, but it's got an interesting story. So the doll's called Mary. Oh, so that's the person that died? That was in the in the bedroom dead with flowers in their gut? Okay. <laughs> so I guess from the scent from the looks of this, I can't say sound of this. Um People who have this mark basically are going to die. So since this guy has this mark, at some point he's going to die. So I'm going to assume, it's an assumption, I'm not sure I just started playing this game, that maybe the choices I make, well here's the name thing, uh, the choices I make will either determine whether or not this guy lives or dies, I guess. I'm not really in entirely sure though. Temporary name. So I can change it later on, probably. I'm trying to think of a name. I think I'll add con into it. So last name. I don't want that. You know what? I'm gonna say, yeah, hand again. There we go. That's the last name. What do you mean contains unusable? What the heck? I'm a little confused why it says I can't use the letters. There we go. That was weird. Oh, maybe because it was a space. Sorry if this seems a little weird, guys, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say, well, actually, 
This is for uh, Monster Hunter. Hmm. First of all, I need to wipe that out. <laughs> uh. This seems more catchy than Khan. Oh, I'm just gonna name him Koof. Koof Hannigan. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that. That that rings a bell to me. Cannot be changed after this. Okay, well, why do you say it's temporary then? Oh, I can change the face too, appearance. All right, so I can use a glasses and beard for this guy. So that's what he looks like, guys. Um, just a beard without the glass. I don't really like his glasses at all. Not a very wide selection to choose from, man. I'll go with this. Can't even change the color or anything. Just very limited as to what you can uh, do with him. <laughs> yeah, man, you're gonna die, man. You're gonna die. You're gonna die a brutal death, man. Cause you got the mark. You gone. You gone forever, man. You gonna you gonna be like this person right here? Yeah, man. You, you done, man. You gone. They lose their memories before this happens? Oh, so this whole thing was like the beginning? Okay. Let's see what happens next. I honestly don't know how in the heck am I supposed to save this. Oh, there's no blood stains now on the floor. What the heck happened there? to die, man. I could say I feel terrible, but I'm going to say yes. Fight the mark. So first you gotta wait for death, second you gotta fight for Mark. I mean fight the Mark. What the heck?
I'm still trying to figure out how you save this. <laughs> I don't even think it can be saved. <laughs> Obviously, and he can't get this picture out of his head, obviously. <laughs> Too fast. <laughs> Restoring soul power. Completing a deadly choice will restore some soul power. Accelerated dialogue. Dala will be sped up while pressing the L1 button, but certain dialogues cannot be sped up. Backlog, okay. The options button will display previous dialogue. Well, obviously I figured that out. Auto mode. The R1 button will activate auto mode. <clears throat> Hiding the dialogue window. You can hide the dialogue window by pressing the triangle button. I don't want to hide the dialogue. Oh, this is a really tricky, um... I guess, um, unless you want to look at the option, you know, the whole dialogue through the options, um, it may be best not to use auto, because how fast it goes. <laughs> you may miss important, um, things in dialogue. lose their memory maybe reclaiming this guy's memories would slow down um his death you know before you know slow down whatever uh process is happening with him that is going to kill him giving him time to somehow fight it and survive i don't know mark bearers have arrived wait there's other people I knew there was before, but I didn't know it was still once I was still alive. Okay, I mean it's not like you're creepy enough as it is just sitting there. <laughs> oh, 
This is interesting. So you got like some choices you have to make that are timed, and if you don't, you die. I guess. I, I mean, if you don't do it within a certain time, I don't know. Oh boy, she's happy. Small boy, huh? Nah, it kind of looks like a girl to me. Sort of. A little girl. But alrighty then. But they have the mark, huh? Do they even know they're gonna die? Oh, he's dead, man. He or she. Yeah. Where are they? They're dead. They're so dead. <laughs> <laughs> I could choose it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose it. I'm gonna choose it. Her boyfriend. How about that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, my lover's dead. Um, oh, she was killed in the bedroom by the mark. That you have. That I also have. So, we may wind up like them. So it's a woman, obviously. <laughs> that was killed in the bedroom. Um, okay. Hmm. A cult? So this person was into the other cult? Well, no wonder we're all screwed. <laughs> you know, I never mess with your cult, man. That's some crazy crap. Screw this, I'm pressing R1. She got one on her thigh. Oh, now she's looking a little freaked out. <laughs> uh oh. If you're forgetting shit, you're in trouble. Because <laughs> I completely lost my memory, man. I don't know who the heck I am. I had to make up another name. <laughs> So I don't know where to leave off this game, guys, because, I mean, I don't see any pause menu or nothing. <laughs> uh, don't let her fool you, man. <laughs> She's a little creepy. Real creepy. <laughs> I told you it was creepy. Well, I can say, guys, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this game. So I can honestly say, guys, if you're not into games where you got to do a lot of reading and uh, choices that are related to reading, like this game, this may not be the game for you. If you guys are into the whole shooters and action-packed things and doing stuff in the games, well, yeah, you can 
go to other games. This game is basically just reading and uh, making choices. And I'm basically talking to a very creepy doll. Yes, tell me some more about this. <laughs> oh wow, the way they do this is kind of creepy. This is chapter one, huh? Ghost boy. Oh, that's just weird. <laughs> wow. This gets even more creepier and creepier, guys. I'm actually going to check something here and see if there's a way to do something. Uh, Alright, that's not... Okay, that hides it. I'm just checking something, guys, because it seems like... Well, that skipped a whole lot. I didn't... Sorry, guys. I must have skipped a bunch when I pressed one button. I must have skipped to a selection when I pressed uh, L1. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry if I skipped a bunch. Uh, I won't press L1 anymore. <laughs> I was trying to find a way to like save it. Because I mean... This game has to have a save. I know it's... I've mentioned it so many times, but... So there's several questions I can, I can... Okay, what did you notice? When did you notice the mark? Okay, I'll ask that one. Really? Well... At least this one gives you all three.
Huh. You know what I think, guys, about this game? Um, T Elementary. Anyways, I think this game is probably best to be uh, done during broadcasts, live broadcasts. In my opinion. So there are different elementaries. I guess I'll ask about that. it gives me more than one option. Creepy doll is telling me what to do. Great. <laughs> That's true, I guess. So, I guess I get two choices to investigate. I'm not sure which one. Uh, that boy didn't see that him that Hanako or whatever there. So I'm gonna try H. Elementary. Unless they tricked me and he actually is there in the other one. Let's do this. Hanahiko. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Hanak Hanako? I'm not even about to try and I don't even know these names sometimes. I can't even pronounce these things. If they want to fight their fate or not, but I care about me. I want to fight my fate. I want to live. I want to live. One mark bearer with you. A large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. I also ask that you do not waste time. There's no way. It is possible. Unnecessary contact may hasten the effects of. Only engage when absolutely necessary. Keep contact with others. <sighs> Selecting a partner, huh? Wait, 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 wait. I, I hate when they do this, and I... So when you get to this, it's probably best to turn off the auto, because it goes way too quick. Yes? What do you want? I got that in the freaking options log. <laughs> 
Ah, this must be the save file. Finally. Alright, so here's a spirit file. Important info on spirits will be added to the spirit file. Check it from your bag. Consult it if you need help. Where's my bag? Ah, saving and loading. Finally! <laughs> Save at the mansion or haunts. Return to the title screen from the bag to load. Then choose continue. Ah, yes. Finally, I was waiting to... Alright, let's see. System... Okay. I was wondering when I'd be able to save. Soul power is at 1,000. Alright. What is it? And I don't even know what... Dexterity 11. So this can be increased? What's this? That's that. Okay. Letter opener. Okay. Mark partner. So I can choose any one of these two. And what's this? Return to a task game. Oh, on save. No. Save it doesn't say. Pure silver uh, taken from the mansion's hall. A beautiful woman's face is engraved on the handle. The blade isn't sharp, but it can hand, but it can handle soft items. Command stab with knife. Range short. Okay. Um. Okay, so this basically just tells you everything that's happened, I guess. Uh, I don't know if it's... That just explains them, I guess. I mean, I don't see any. Oh, save and exit. There we go. I wonder if that works for the same thing with this. No, it doesn't. Alright. What should we take? Well, I guess she knows about the place more than, more than this guy, so... Yeah, guys, so I guess I'm gonna, um, leave it off here, now that I figured out exactly how to save it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna break this up into parts, because, uh, I don't know how long this game is, and, but at least you have the gist of what it is. You pretty much, um, do a lot of reading and you make, uh, choices. Some choices require you to make it within a certain time limit. So, um, thank you all for watching. Um, if you like, you know, any of my videos, if you come across my channel and you like any of my videos, feel free to, um, like and subscribe. Um, and that's if also if you want to, um, see more of my videos, please feel free to subscribe. I usually upload, uh, videos frequently. Um, sometimes I may do, like, part part videos, you know, where I do part one, then I shift over to a different video uh, game, and then do a, some videos on that, and then back to the other one. But I do uh, complete my games that I play. 
Um, so again, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, stay safe and have a good one.